Hey everyone, this is Corey with Stafford ZDC, and today I have an unboxing for you. I actually already cut this one open. Um, if you recognize this packaging at all, it's probably because you've received something from Lefty EDC before. Always really packs his stuff up well, so always appreciate that from Kevin. Um, this year, I haven't actually opened the knife yet, but it comes in this box. This is from a company called GameStar Studios, so GS Knives is what's on this package here uh that's all the information we have this is a pass around knife and i was like yeah i'll check it out along with any information you have and kevin said uh yeah there is no information they just said here's a prototype so uh let's take a look at this thing so obviously your sleeve slides off you have the game star logo right there and is it a flip top no how does this open okay that's different. All right, all right, let's, so this is the top here. It opens this way and then this way. Clever design, cool kind of box. Comes with a uh, cloth with their logo on it. And it also comes in a pouch. Looks like there's a whole extra set of hardware in here. Which is nice. This is a nice little like nylon pouch with a little leather uh, leather tag on it. I'll say the box takes up a shit ton of room when it's open. So, all right, let me get this thing out of the package. Just in a plastic bag here. And I'll show this off for you in just a moment. So again, this is the GameStar Studios knife, so a GS knife, I'm not sure, there's no name for it yet, as far as I know, but take a look at this guy, you have hidden hardware, except for your pivot screw, beautiful Timascus clip, which I didn't even realize this had, and this has Timascus pivot collars, which hopefully, you can see. It's obviously a lot smaller of a pattern than on that clip. Centering is dead on. Hope you can see that. Let's, um, I'll use my right hand. Let's flick it out. Thumb studs are really round, so sliding on it right away. But the detent feels good, and it's got a wicked blade shape. This is a uh, hollow grind and a flat grind at the tip, so you have a compound grind on here. You can see their logo. Etched on the blade there, right next to the thumb stud. Right. Eh, come on. There we go. Right there. Really, really pretty knife. Ooh, smooth. Yeah, the thumb studs are a little smooth for my taste. They're going to slip off these a lot, I think. But, yeah, it's pretty comfortable in hand. It's it's not huge by any means. It's definitely not a big knife. Um, definitely like a medium-sized knife. It's not large. At all, I wear a large size glove. Whether I'm choking up to this position or back here, I can get all four fingers on it, which is nice. Um, interesting with the jimping is down here in this area, and then where this little like harpoon is, there's nothing. Which, like, my thumb wants to go to that harpoon. I wish the jimping was up there. Um, not an integral, um, so it is just hidden hardware. You can see there's this backspacer there. And this is a liner lock. It's either steel or titanium. There's no insert, so I'm going to guess it's steel. But this is a titanium uh, scales. Really, really interesting looking knife. This is not normally my cup of tea, blade shapes like this. Uh, but, you know, I wanted to check this thing out. It looked pretty cool. So, yeah, I will, uh, I'll give this some carry, and then I will bring you guys a full review on this before sending it off to the next person, which I believe is... Uh, NAF. If you guys don't know NAF, I'll put a link to his channel in the description. Uh, this will be on its way to him probably in like a week or so. Um, yeah, really cool nevertheless. So I appreciate uh, GameStar Studios for sending this guy along to Kevin for pass around. And yeah, we'll uh, get you a full review and I'll tell you what I think about it uh, after about a week of carrier. So. so thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care.